Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of transposition cipher with the help of simple solid example. First, we will understood what is a transposition cipher. A transposition cipher, it is also called as a permutation cipher. It does not change the letter in the plain text, but it arranges them according to defined system. So, here unlike a uh, substitution cipher, in the transposition cipher, uh, letter identities remain the same, but their position will change. So, now we will take one simple example to understand the transposition cipher. In this plain text is hello world and the key is cat. In the first step, we need to give the number to the key letters with the alphabetical order. Here we can see that in the alphabetical order, a will come first, then C, then T. That is what we can see here. In the alphabetic order, uh, A will come first, then C, then T. In the next step, we need to write the plain text in a row under each key letter. So, here we can see that we have the 10 letters in the plain text and the length of the key is 3. Here we need to arrange these 10 letters under the key letters. So, we have the plain text as a hello word. First, uh, we can see that the length of the key is 3. So, we need to divide this whole text by 3. So, it will be become uh, HEL, uh, LOW, ORL and uh, we are getting only D at a fourth row. So, we need to pad. So, that is what we can see here. HEL, LOW, OWR and DXX. So, this is how we can write the 10 letters under the key uh, in the row format. So, next we need to read the columns in the key order. So, here we need to read the columns in the key order. First order is 1. So, we need to read the second column. So, uh, the second column letters are E, O, R, X. So, that is what you can see here. And the next column uh, that is next uh, letter is C and the column is first so, we will get the letters as H, L, O, D. So, we can see here. Next one is T and T letters are uh, L, W, L, X. So, that is what you can see here. Next, we need to concatenate these all the rows. So, we will get the final uh, cipher text as E, O, R, X, H, L, O, D, L, W, L, X. This is a cipher text for the plain text. Hello world. Next, we need to decrypt the message. To decrypt the message, we use the cipher text, this one and key as a cat. Again, we need to number the key letter by alphabetic order as I already told for A, 1, for C, 2 and for T, 3. Next, we need to arrange. Here, we need to divide the cipher text column wise based on the key order. So, first key order will be A. For the A, we will get uh, e 0 R X and for the C we will get uh, H L O D and for T we will get uh, L W L X. So, once you divide the cipher text, next we need to write those letters in column wise. So, here we can see that for A we have uh, E 0 R X that one we need to write here. Next one is C uh, H L O D that is written here. Next for a C, uh, next for a T that is LWLX that is written here. So, once you write the letters in a column wise, next we need to read that one in the row wise to decrypt the message. So, once you read the message in the row wise, we will get the first row as HEL, second row as LOW, third row as ORL and the last one is DXX. Once you write all the rows, next we need to concatenate all these messages. So, we will get the plain text as hello world. So, this is a final decrypted plain text. So, here we can remove the xx because we are padded this one. So, we will discard this one. This is how we can find the encrypted message and decrypted message with the help of transposition cipher. I hope the concept of transposition cipher is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.